All right, so let's talk about Secret Invasion. In particular, we're going to be talking about Episode 5. And if you're not watching the show, I don't know why you're not watching this show. But I'm going to talk about why you should watch the show in a little bit. But spoiler, in the next five seconds, um, there's a lot going on in this episode, but overall in this show. So Talos is on a live from what happened um, in episode number four, right? And he was on a live by Gravik. Now, I didn't think that he was going to be on a live. I thought... You know, they were going to, he got shot at the end of episode four, and then maybe something was going to happen to bring him back. But no, he seems to be just gone. And we know this for sure because there is a funeral, not a funeral, but there is a sending off, right? Um, by his daughter Gaia and also Nick Fury's wife, who's also a scroll. Now, my favorite part of this episode, I'm going to show you a clip in a little bit, is the coming back of Nick Fury. Now, you might say, like, Zen, what are you talking about? He's been in the show the whole time. Exactly. Well, it gives credence into um, the rebirth of his character, right? Uh, pri after the blip, he wasn't himself, right? And a lot of characters throughout the show did say this, but uh, he dons he dons his his jacket, his leather jacket. <laughs> Now, you might say, Zen, why should I watch the show? Because it is an unexpected and pleasant surprise in a lot of different ways. It proves that you don't need a whole lot of special effects in order to do some great storytelling. That's one. Number two, there's a supporting cast that is absolutely amazing in terms of their acting and their ability to bring out emotion. This is Nick Fury's wife. She's a scroll. This is another scroll. That's James Rhodes, a.k.a. War Machine. Yep, she's he he is a scroll. Now, you might say, Zen, you just spoil a lot for us. Why would we want to watch the show now? My bad. Now, my bad for spoiling, but I did say spoiler alert earlier. I'm just really hyped for this show, and I want you all to watch it, too. <laughs> now, something that I'm baffled by, and some of you in the comment section, and my expert um, comic book lovers, and also my movie and TV show watchers can explore with me. How long has Rhodey been a scroll? A lot of people want to say that it's post end game but what if it's not post end game what if he was a scroll pre end game this whole entire time and here's another thing if even if pre or post end game right where is the real james road right now and is he unalive now like i mentioned before there's a solid cast storytelling is really good and even though i spoil some things in this video there's a lot that i have not explored so definitely go out and watch the show and if i was to rate just the show in general and this episode in particular i would definitely give it an 8.7 out of 10 it's just absolutely amazing let me know your thoughts about secret invasion yes